Hey there, we're in a new studio, so we are doing New Day Hot Topics in a slightly different way. Gone is the wheel, but the stories in our guest panels remain as interesting as ever. Please welcome back from Queer Bar in Seattle, host and drag queen Betty Wetter. Oh, I along, thought you were talking about me. No, not you. <laughs> we're getting you. Along with King Five Evenings, Michael King. Thank you hello, both hello. for being yeah. here. Thank you for having so me. So I used to explain how we spun yeah. the wheel and blah, blah, blah. No more blah. wheel. Wheels no, out. No, this is an electronic. We've moved into the digital yes, age. So let's spin the digital wheel and okay. see what happens in terms of a topic. Woo! There it is. Like family yeah. Matters has come up. Mystery Science Theater. I know. <laughs> kind of crazy, but it's Family Matters. So this was a post from an angry dad who had to change a baby on a really disgusting bathroom floor because so many men's rooms don't have a changing yeah. table. There's no family ba uh, bathroom, and they can't Look go in the, the ladies' thing. room. That, that really, I hadn't <laughs> thought about that because yeah. dads change diapers all the time, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So mm -hmm. what do we think about this? Well, I have two kids, so I've changed many a diaper. Uh, they're older now, but uh, I remember we used to always bring around one of those diaper changing pads and yep. roll that mm -hmm. out for just a situation like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good thing it has a blanket. Yes, mm -hmm. and so he did something similar, but you shouldn't have to. I, right? I guess it should be, yeah, there should be a changing table in every bathroom. I would think. I think All that's right. logical, but at this point, with this particular conversation, what world are we living in where he didn't feel like he could just step out and ask a, a woman if he could just step in and that's use that true. changing right. station? Like, where's yeah. our kindness to just allow I that about moment? That. You know? it, I guess it depends on how busy the bathroom is. True. If it were in and out, then, uh, you know, absolutely not in the moment. But, I mean, yeah. we should be able to ask one another Good for some idea. help every now and then. Because there's no way a mom would say no about that. Exactly. All right. They're going to charge <laughs> for the on, French fries, though. <laughs> <laughs> they have to put another changing station like there. A, like a cookie right? tax yeah. or something, yeah. if you ask. Okay, let's spin our, our electronic wheel one more time, see what we come up with. X oh okay 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 this story is that what that is? <laughs> this is yes this okay. is the thing that has me going okay there's some kind of device so that you can kiss your loved one right. long distance and it's got like a we'll show it to you here in a minute but it's like a phone with a smushy pad on the bottom you kiss the <laughs> smushy pad your loved one a has a smushy having. pad on yeah. the other end and can feel the actual sensation of whatever you have you know imprinted on that I, yeah. Really? But but when you break <laughs> up with that partner, right. their lips are always around. You yeah, never get to get rid of that that's partner. That's true. Yeah. You <laughs> keep them around for that. They just stick around forever. I feel like, yeah, it's sort of, well, sweet and creepy. It's very creepy. I read the article and it said something about how the French kissing was not taken care of somehow, so I'm out. Yeah, yeah done right. with not it. Interested. Absolutely. Well, I, I also need to download the app that will get me a long distance boyfriend in order to make <laughs> this all work. <laughs> People have been managing yeah. with the phone pretty well yeah. all these years. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> all right, let's spin again. <laughs> the fashion, fashion front. Okay. All right, I've got this one. Stunning. You know anything about this fashion? Yeah. I don't know I anything think, about think, fashion. I think Betty might be able to tell us more about this. There are some very creative designers who get together to try to get the top prize in an annual contest that's been going on for 14 years, a toilet paper wedding dress. And don't laugh because... This is actually beautiful. They're I don't stunning. know if it's two ply wow. or if the <laughs> shot. It's gotta be two ply. Yeah. Three ply. I mean, it is a <laughs> functional gown yeah, totally. fully. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. It, this is um, a partnership between sheep, cheap, chic weddings in and quilted northern. <laughs> But look uh, at this, isn't that amazing? I think that's a, a kind of a cool uh, fashion challenge. The amount of time that yeah. you spend with toilet paper <laughs> is just beyond that. It's gorgeous. I mean, the, do they the glue details. it? What happens? It is functional. I mean, if you get into a situation, some kind of a jam, mm -hmm. you've got toilet paper right there. You can mm -hmm. still whip that out. But yeah. hopefully you don't spill any jam. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. Then, then it's ruined forever. You can just flush it when you're done. <laughs> yeah. you're, you're all done with that. So I think that's kind of a good idea. Yeah. It's a lot cheaper than these very expensive of uh, wedding gowns, so boop, we're gonna spin the wheel again, and we come up with. Is this the first time we're spinning this electronic wheel? Yes, oh, I'm I love honored that. to be here. Yeah. I we're didn't debuting this. Is the this. First time. this is a new frontier. This is history. So, <laughs> KFC <laughs> is going to try to do non-chicken 
chicken, so like okay. some sort of vegetarian right. chicken that'll be cooked the same way. So you can get it extra crispy or original style, whatever. This is not coming until 2019, but it is a vegetarian option. You're a vegetarian, correct? I'm not actually. You're not? I thought you I'm were. Kinda, I lean more toward paleo, actually. So the oh. opposite, right? <laughs> oh, the opposite. All, yeah, yeah. all day. Yeah. Well, I, that, I mean, you're very organic. And I run around a lot. Maybe I look like a vegetarian. Yeah. No, no. I thought, I thought you were. All right. It's just a Seattle like question, you? I think. Yeah. Um, I used to be, actually. Used to be. Yeah. No until about two years ago um, during Pride Weekend, so it's the anniversary of my right? non-vegetarianism. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, so it's a great burger. Yeah. <laughs> it was a Dick's Burger, actually. It <laughs> was. Yeah, that's exactly it where was. I would go. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. Absolutely. So um, would you try a vegetarian KFC? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you could put that breading on a cactus <laughs> and I would take a bite. Absolutely. So it doesn't matter. And I was trying to figure out what the option might be. Is it just a vegetable? Is it a fake meat? I mean, I think it's a... Well, I, we don't know yeah, for not, sure. Yeah. I don't think they've told us what exactly it is. I'm imagining it's, it's a, a secret, tofu. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It is. Yeah, I'm not telling you this yet. Eat it. I don't and care. And then it'll have a secret <laughs> blend of herbs. Mm -hmm. When I'm with you and I, I try to eat, I'm paleo ish. Right, I'm right, probably okay. not as yeah. observant as you are about that, but I try. But every now and then, an extra crispy chicken breast. Has yeah. to happen. Oh, absolutely. I have yeah. a fun fact for you. I actually uh, met the Colonel. You did? I did. My grandpa struck a deal with him to sell his chicken way no back way. in the 50s. So I met the Colonel. How was wow. he? Wow. He was really cool. He did wear a white suit yep. and a cane, and he, was, had the, and he had the whole thing going on. Did he smell like chicken? Uh, he did not smell like chicken. We were at a fish, fish place, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, so <laughs> I, I, don't know. I think he would be, most people would say, oh, he would roll over in his grave hearing no, something like this. But I think he, he was an innovator. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. He would definitely mm -hmm. want to do this. Yeah. He, he's yeah. a disruptor, right? Yeah, and, absolutely. And yeah. the breading. I'm with you. Yeah, it's all about the breading. I'm kind of hoping they do it with vegetables. Wouldn't you go mm -hmm. there if they had like? Oh yeah, kind of well, I'm, I'm from treatment. the yeah, south. Something. Some fried okra is oh, one of my yeah. favorite dishes. So bring on the veggies with that breading yep. on it. Yep. <laughs> or maybe just a bucket of the breading. <laughs> I'm so hungry right yeah, now. I know. Just starving. Thank you very much, Thank both you. of you. That was way fun to we spin honored. the electronic wheel. <laughs> yep. And again, Betty hosts the Sunny Side Up Pride Brunch on Sunday, oh, June 24th. Yes, at 11 a.m. at Queer Bar in Seattle's Capitol Hill neighborhood. We've put a link to tickets on New Day's website. And still ahead, thank you, Michael. I got nothing going on. You got the magazine. <laughs> you can hang out with me. Okay, yeah. fun. A Seattle artist dives into her own experiences living with bipolar disorder in an attempt to lift the stigma around mood disorders. We'll talk about her inspiring memoir after this break.